Paso family lost their business to a fire. The fire destroyed a warehouse where their food truck was stored. Now that fire happened this morning on a street near I-10 in Lee Trevino, and that's where we find ABC 7 Sarah Coria live with the details. Sarah. I'm at Cedar Oak Drive, the location of the family's warehouse, and just behind me here, you can see the destruction and the devastation the early morning fire caused. And just past me here this way, you can see the food truck that the family also lost to the flames. They lost their go-karts, their Xbox, everything. The fire marshal was able to save my son's Easter eggs. Cynthia Gonzalez and her family have owned shuttle bus leasing for 15 years and woke up to devastating news this morning. My brother is the one that told me the shop's on fire. And he was like, they said that it's all over uh, social media. And I didn't think it was going to be like this bad. As the hours went by, the news got worse. And now they know their livelihood will never be the same. My little boy was crying. He was saying, is this a dream? This is so hard to process. And it feels like a nightmare. The warehouse was home to not only their business, but their sentimental items. My son's crib got burned. I used this place as storage to keep a lot of my stuff, so a lot of sentimental stuff was lost. The warehouse was used as a mechanic shop where the family worked on larger vehicles, including CBP vehicles and water trucks. Vehicles inside the warehouse burned, including Cynthia's brother's food truck. He had took five years. We all built, helped him build it. A lot of blood and sweat into that thing and he finally started selling his Gooba Pit barbecue and with all the inflation right now, the meat prices, he put it on hold so he doesn't have to, you know, lose his, his business and he removed the insurance on it and it burned completely on the side. Gonzalez says a part of their lives is gone. It's our second home. Our kids come here. Their vacations are spent here. After school, they're here. It's just hard to believe. Everything's gone. Nothing. There's nothing. Gonzalez says they don't know what comes next. They say we have to demolish. So, so we just have to demolish and start from scratch. The family told me fire investigators say the fire is most likely electrical, but they have yet to find where it originated. Reporting live in East El Paso, Sarah Coria, ABC7.